All right, so this email, shady or not, you got something going on in your life, and you um, are not really sure if it's legit or not, and you're like, Bert Show, help me out. And in this case, uh, she just started at a new job, and her manager asked her to attend like this formal event with him, and she's not sure if it's like a legit come with me because of work or it's shady. Mo's got the email. I just started a new job a little over a month ago. It's such a relief to finally have all my hard work and school pay off and have my first job in the field I studied. I was so proud to finally be on my way towards a career. So I'm really hoping you will tell me that this isn't at all shady and there is nothing to worry about or feel odd about. My new manager has seemed really nice, and so far, I get along with him great. There are also about six other people that I work with directly, and they are cool and pretty drama-free. Two days ago, my manager came to me and asked if I would be available this weekend to accompany him to a formal event. It's an annual professional event that he attends every year. He said that his wife typically is his plus one. But she's unable to attend this time. He said it would be a great opportunity for me to network. My first instinct was to feel weird about the invitation. Then I tried to talk myself out of feeling this way and attribute those feelings to nerves. However, a few of the other girls I work with were talking about how he has never invited anyone to attend that event other than his wife. So what are your thoughts? Is this appropriate or professional or is it shady? Uh, it's really, it's so hard for me to give advice in these areas because we just don't live in the real world. I know. <laughs> I mean, working radio with what we do is so informal that it doesn't like attach to the real world sometimes. And I feel out of touch here. It may, it may be shady, but even if it's shady, use it to your advantage and don't let it um, interfere with potentially helping your career. So I would accept because he said verbatim, this is a great chance for you to meet people and to network. So um, I would be gracious for the opportunity and say thank you and then set the boundaries of he's not picking you up. You're going to meet at the event together and you're going to walk in together. And then when you leave, you leave separately. Like literally the only time you are together is at the event. And I feel like by doing that, um, you're protecting yourself and... Um, you're able to, like you said, network and meet people in your industry. Yeah, I want to ask more questions about, like, the specifics of the event and the job. And, you know, you might be new there, but you could still have really, like, awesome ideas. And he wants to incorporate you into this big meeting with some fancy, you know, suits. And that's a good thing. I don't want to assume it's something nefarious, like, just because your boss asked you to go somewhere with you. Uh that, that would be messed up and like when I used to work in a restaurant I got to go to formal dinners with my boss and I guess it should have felt weird but I didn't think about it at all because it was like my mustache boss Mark and he's the <laughs> sweetest guy ever and then we go and like the suits there want to talk about um, ways that we can facilitate an easier uh, bar flare competition and since I was one of the bartenders and did the flair and stuff. I helped them like organize their championships or just had ideas that they could bounce off of me. So I think for networking purposes, absolutely go. And you could like really like shine as a new employee having some really great ideas. Yeah, I don't really think she should worry about it at all. Like, I, I mean, it, it, it could be shady. It could not be. It's very difficult to tell without knowing the reason. He's not bringing his wife or exactly what the event is about. But, I, I mean, if her intentions are pure, which they appear to be, I don't even think she should consider what his intentions are. Just use it to your advantage, like Kristen said, and do what you got to do. And maybe your coworkers are jealous because they asked you and not them. So that's why they're, like, trying to stir the pot by Big saying, facts. he's never <laughs> invited me, but now he's inviting you. That must mean huh. he has ulterior motives. Tommy? But isn't that something she's got to consider? Because she's got to go back and work with all these people. And now she's going to be the kiss ass. And oh, well. People Not are, <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Would, 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 would you want to work in that kind of situation where everybody is talking about you behind your back? I'm not going to hold like myself. You? I'm not going to hold myself back from, from furthering mm -hmm. my career uh, for fear of what other people are going to think or say about me. All right. So let's look at the other line, uh, the other side of this, though. Um, is there something to putting up some borders, right? Because, yeah, this is professional, but she doesn't really know a lot about this guy yet, mm -hmm. right? Uh, is there something about saying, you know what, I'm just not comfortable going to an event like this? With No, I guess there's not. As the words are coming out of my mouth, it doesn't no. make any sense. Go, no. I, and I, I, you know, I wouldn't drink. In all sincerity, like, I, I wouldn't. I would maintain, I would be sober the entire time. 
um, just for extra precaution. Um, go have a good time because this is your. This is not a social event. If you're going to do this, this is a work event. Treat it like a work event. Yeah, so use it, Uber and Lyft. Don't let them pick you up. Like, right. Don't be alone in the car with it. Like all yeah. of those extra efforts that you would do, like to not make it a date. Just you know, have that in the back of your mind. The Bird Show. <laughs> hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Bird Show for free. We drop new podcast every weekday, and you can find us anywhere: Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.